here I am right after signing up for live plan. This looks like onboarding. Which of these best describes you? I have a business idea. I'm starting a business. I'm running a business. I'm advising a small business. I have a business idea to describe somebody who truly is brainstorming, thinking about going into business, but not committed to it. I'm starting a business. Somebody's committed to it, running a business already in business and advising. This is the role of a business planner. Me. I'm running a business. Am I using accounting software? Yes. I'm using QuickBooks. Let's connect to QuickBooks Online. Do this later is my choice. Tell us about your business. We'll say MIP Software LLC. This is a business that makes a line of software products and provides software services. Now, up top, there's a stepper, four steps from company name at one, which is now a checkbox, to team at two, to three, fiscal year, to four, forecast period. Say Asher Dern. Could say that's enough for now. And view and comment only for now. Let me invite my personal. Do you want your calendar year to be? This has to be a fiscal year, and we have these two options. Yes. When should the forecast start for this year? Great. So now we're in the app. The app is a three-column layout with the leftmost column being collapsible into making this a two-column layout and the menu button reveals it can be three. Then we have on the rightmost side, uh, live plan learning and support buttons. So let's see when clicking on live plan learning, we get a reveal of reference documentation. And this makes up a user guide. Then we have booking a support call, chatting with support from this time to that time, email, help center, privacy policy, security, confidentiality, and terms of use. They all fit here hidden in this question mark at support. That's our column three. And our main is follow our guided path to create your business plan. 
we know there's a lot to think about when you're creating a plan based on our experience helping more than a million entrepreneurs this is our recommended approach just take it one step at a time and you will produce a plan you can be confident in rather follow your own path that's fine too you can work directly within your written directly in your written plan or forecast come back here if you need help deciding what to work on next and then we have a stepper this one's vertical it's not numbered and it appears this one as a stepper it does not enforce being linear you might be able to open up this one this support detail and open up this one and do this type of work and here we might be able to so they break this into define the opportunity determine whether you can make money figure out how you acquire customers work out execution details explain why you're the right match for this opportunity forecast for cash flow and funding a compelling summary and review and export your plan you can download and print review your forecast review your business plan that's the main now over here we have guide plan forecast pitch benchmarks schedule dashboard options we have hire a pro this is our q2 a very important visual the main call to action they want you to hire a pro it's in green connecting accounting and inviting users those are there they don't seem as important they even make the invite users smaller than the connect accounting on a vertical scale that i wonder whether it's intentional it appears to be we have peter smith which opens up a, a popover to say peter smith's account manage account or sign out let's go to manage account here we have manage account which has a reference to going back up on the top and we have uh, what appears to be this is as similar as was on the bottom left a moment ago popover for uh, sign out or whichever so the account details go directly to what plan are we on and I'm on the premium which has all of the options a switch and save sales pitch users and company change contributors it has more money for more contributors and it has select to change active companies how many companies you might have is a uh, premium on top of the next one the name of the account we can say the name of the company so this is a team account for sure and we've known that for a little while we have something called feature access which is there as an account opener account owner option to Turn on AI features, off, on, off. It makes a quick call to an API, on. That's what that little delay is about. It's a toggle switch. All this looks like it would render okay if it were on a iPad. Let's see. I'm going to do a refresh of the page. Nothing so good on an iPhone Pro on an iPad Pro. Nothing so good here. So they don't make a mobile me for this. This is just no matter what a desktop view application. Which is a all right design constraint for a sincere planning tool not always uh, meeting the market where it is type of idea in the sense that who isn't on their phone doing 
serious business these days. And if we're using AI, it might be easier to do that because there's less input. So enable live plan assistant, a collection of features that use AI to help you with plan creation and growth planning. And there's got a link to learn more. Enable optional data sharing to allow the engineers to review your inputs and responses solely to improve these features so they can opt out of the learning part. And then when you click that, that goes to a page for AI privacy published uh, as, uh, about a year ago now. And the uh, thought that I have is to check back to our bottom and go to their privacy policy, their broad policy here, longer and fairly standard it looks like just in its structure then we have security and confidentiality which is their security policy which is shorter and a little less standard and we have our terms of use which is a contract which looks like uh, as effective as is it's funny and fine Another fairly standard. And when we click on these, we go to the logout view that has this help and uh, live chat button, which I expect is main. It's everywhere. Yeah. What stage is the business at? We have this pop over and you get a new business account if you click on that one. So I go and I refresh and I don't know. You know, show me that again. We have to add in a new browser. Finish loading, live plan. So when we move the mouse off of the page, it brings us this last ditch effort, which is all right as a pattern, as far as I can say. What stage is your business at? and we're giving a discount to somebody that's about to leave and then we can say establish business and what we're doing in doing this is also segmenting the user into three so if i go to this uh again i have to do a hard reload to get it to give me editing in this this is me hitting Command Shift R, reading mode. Ah, okay. I want to do uh, probably easier over here, where I actually know what the flow is like. So let's do refresh. Let's do a hard reload, and let's see. Can we go away now? Do we have a hard reload after? Go away, not quite. Go to our application data. So let's clear out all these cookies. Oh, I can't do them all at once. We can keep doing it until we're there. Keep the cookie to nil. Not that I'm logged in. So the main page doesn't really know that I'm logged in. It only knows that it's live plan. And then I gotta go log in, even though I'm not really logged out. If I go over here, I'm still logged in. So what does that tell you? That the one page is a marketing, and then the other one is a uh, app. And they don't share cookies or data between them. And by the way, you know, there's a lot of cookies going on. And 
I think this is terrible. So down the page, it uh, betrays a user's sense of privacy. They have no confidence. Uh, maybe most people don't know all this. So good thing that the European Union and Google and some other large entities are stopping cookies soon. Let's do another reload. Let's see, more cookies. Session storage is clear. Ours is clear. Cache storage is clear. Everything's clear. Let's do a reload. And let's see. Browser and take me back up. Buyplan.com. Now I'm in Safari. Not the one I want. I want Chrome. Buyplan.com. It doesn't trigger the discount again. Let's see, do I have any other browsers? Do I have Firefox.com here? No. What if I go in incognito mode? There we go. There are three what stage is your business at categories here are new business idea, startup phase, and established business. So I go to hello at peterbsmith.com for the startup. You get up to 50% off the number one plan. The pricing offer is called EG Exit Startup. It's a marketing and uh, sales, and it gets us to save 40% there. This $10 for your first month, it's saving 40% on annual. So it's very easy to get a annual discount that is sincere. It's a massive discount on just trying to leave the page. Their ability to say get 50% off is 50% off the first month on premium or 50% off the first month on, what do we call this? Standard. Let's try this again. Live plan in incognito. And we do a new business idea. See if we can type in the same email and get another discount. 50% off again. Let's do this one more time. And then an established business. Can unlock the discount. So the established business We sign up with discount. We are on annual now on the premium. So what I'm seeing is the offer is the same. Maybe actually, as I look at it, it does appear actually to be the same. Yeah, say 40% on the premium annual. They really do everything they can to get you onto this premium annual, which would be uh, 240 plus 48, which would be $288, call $300 in order to get somebody in on a year. And then they have the 35 day money back guarantee. On the pricing page is also their sign up page. And that means if I go to pricing, it's there. We have this offer grow, we actually grow. And if I go to liveplan.com and I hit pricing, let's go to, no, I never had the discount here. Uh, 
It shows money off annual even with no fee. So they're always showing there's a discount on annual. Monthly it's showing not that. And then for the live plan, go to pricing. No discount. Okay, cool. I go here, startup phase. Hello at peterbsmith.com. Unlock discount. 50% off. Sign up with discount. Toggle A. This is toggle M going to be, yeah. It's a server rendered page in toggle A will display the toggle as annual monthly will be the monthly. So if I start up, if there's no toggle, it's just being annual anyway. So, Their live plan assistant in the pricing, if we compare the whole thing from top to bottom, it's better to do it that way. So starting, you've got this, start your plan by picking a package, it's the premium package or the standard package at either monthly or annual options. It's got everything that it includes listed out, everything in standard plus, this other stuff as well and the primary call to action in green on that part is get live plan premium and the call to action on top is a login and live plan premium make a confident decision with premium that clicking on it loads a video and that video is two minutes, 35 seconds. It's self-hosted and it opens the full light box. We click watch now, it's the same thing. Okay. It says it's a two minute video to see our premium. So it's focused on premium, not standard but premium, so it's showing all of the features. So then we got, comparing the features, we have team, one active company, and uh, contributors, five, and guests, unlimited. If you look at that, it tells you a little bit about what it is. That's the same for all of these. So the live plan assistant has helped me write Avoid writer's block and generate ideas for each section of the plan. Rewrite, which will improve your business plan with one click and adjust your writing for tone, detail, grammar, and spelling errors. And then suggested forecast categories is start your forecast or identify new opportunities fast. Get automatic suggestions for streams, direct costs, personnel, expenses specific to the business. Okay. Step-by-step -step instructions are uh, part of both of them, which are guidance, so helping you build it. Lender ready statements, accurate for the lenders, no, crumb, no number crunching your spreadsheet, full forecast, P&L, uh, balance sheet and more. Easy export to Word or PDF or PowerPoint. One pitch builder. 550 sample plans. And then we're at the end of the standard plan, and this is all premium only. Industry benchmarks. What if scenarios? 10 scenarios here. Performance dashboards. Real time cash flow from the accounting software. We're assuming this is a in 
business business to pull in accounting software and help. Automatic forecast builder. No manual data entry. Export to Excel. Trend spotting. Milestone planner. Trend spotting is turning the accounting data into insights for 20 plus reports. Okay. An export to Excel is really export as a CSV and then import to Excel or Google. Milestone planner is set milestones for the goals and stay focused and motivated. Got it. Integrations with QuickBooks Online and Zero only come with the premium plan. Support comes with both of them having an onboarding call, making me believe that it's about retention more than anything. It's a good thing to get an onboarding call because it keeps a user. Email, it's customer store support eight to five. It's a one-on-one -on -one video call there. Chat, which is live chat with a person, money back guarantee on both of them. Uh, educational webinars, reach your goals, etc. Well, it's good to see that this is their premium deal for startups and established companies. Okay. So all the features you need for, and we've got some marketing language there. Working with clients, students, or startups. We're saying live plan for consultants. It's another sale uh, type for educators and incubators and accelerators. If we go to see it for consultants, it's uh, a bit different here. Live plan gives you this type of thing, exploring the features for consultants, consultant features, understand your this and that and evaluate live plan the lead gen form and we'll get information to start your evaluation what advisors are saying about the plan okay going back to for educators evaluate live plan and again there's another form view completed plan example this is a PDF of the output of a fictional bike shop, which is useful to see. Uh, yeah. And for incubators and accelerators, so it's uh, education again, using the same idea, and then we're marketing to these people fill out the form here the form is blank to go to evaluate live plan and it's blank ah now it's good okay so their form is loaded from a third party form maker maybe mm -hmm. Form from HS Forms, so I think that's HubSpot. Move over there on Maps. Yeah, it's HubSpot. It's from their form builder. Okay, so liveplan.com. That is a robust review of their pricing, an introduction to their application and their onboarding. Clicking on this, I'm wondering, is it the same two minutes? It is not, I don't believe. If I go to this pricing page and I hit this view, then it's longer. So be it. It's been 30 minutes now of this. Time to wrap it up and then use it to look at the product.
for green print.